Robots are battling it out at the Maverick Center this weekend. It's part of a national and world competition where high school students design and build their own robots. And there are some Utah teams at that competition. They say to make math and science fun, sometimes you have to take it out of the classroom. This is the time. Two, one, go. This is a sporting event of the mind. The first robotics competition is intense. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh! High school teams from all over the world create robots that are tested right here. This is a catapult. And a game of aerial assist. Go, hit it again. Hit it, hit it again. Yeah. Woo! It's like a combination of volleyball and basketball. Ryan, drive forward. The team from Draper's brand new Corner Canyon High School is one of the rookie teams. Yeah, nice block, you guys. Like everyone else, they spent weeks making the robot, perfecting its catapult. It's a necessary feature when the goal is to get the robot to snag the ball, launch it, and score. Woo! Corner Canyon's Garrett Hansen says the competition gets intense. Any time I get in a competition, I'm always there in the front row, completely freaking out. Go outside! The goal here is to get kids excited about math and science, to help them understand what they learn in the classroom. Seconds to go. Can really help them build things. More people building stuff means we have more jobs here. It's exciting. It's fun. Juliana Ivanova of Skyline High is the only girl we found on a Utah team. <laughs> She says girls have to ignore the old idea about science and math. I feel like it's like the stereotypical thing where it's like a guy thing. Male or female, you don't have to be a genius to build a robot. Well, just to have fun. That's all we're looking forward to. STEM, Utah's Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math Initiative, is a supporter of the robot competition, which goes through Saturday.